Okay, we need to talk about Lisa. Lisa Rosowski, because nobody else will. In the news last week, it was revealed in the FinCEN released files that banks, including HSBC, were laundering money across the world, as as is their wont. It was reported that two trillion dollars had been laundered um, and in the news reports it only referred to one uh, offence by HSBC which was laundering money for a Ponzi scheme worth 62 million pounds which is peanuts I would probably imagine that HSBC was responsible for probably more like two trillion pounds for money laundering so where does Lisa Sosky come into this well as many people know, in 2012, HSBC took out a deferred prosecution agreement in the United States. So the Department of Justice did a deal with HSBC that if they paid $1.9 billion uh, for, and kept their noses clean for five years, they wouldn't be prosecuted for laundering money for the Sinaloa Mexican drug cartel, El Chapo's gang of murdering drug thugs. Um, so they entered into, uh, partly at the um, encouragement of George Osborne, who wrote to the Department of Justice and pleaded with them not to prosecute HSBC because they would lose their license in the States. They entered into this deferred prosecution agreement. And a bank under a DPA has to make sure they don't commit any of the offences during the five-year period of the DPA. And they have to appoint a monitor to monitor the bank to make sure that they don't commit these offences and the bank HSBC was allowed to choose its monitor and it chose a company called Exeger and the head of Exeger in the United States is a man called N Michael Tchaikovsky and the head of Exeger in the Europe division was Lisa Osofsky so she was responsible for ensuring that HSBC were not committing any offences relating to the TPA, which was def which was uh, laundering money during that period. Well, the revelations last week in the FinCEN files show that HSBC were doing exactly that. Um, but beyond that, I also knew myself that HSBC were laundering Russian money. Uh, this was because last year the OCC never remember their name, the Organised Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, OCCRP, uh, released um, some news uh, of, of something called the Troika Laundromat, which was involving Russian money laundering from a bank called Troika Bank in, I, I think it's in Russia or maybe Lithuania. Um, but I was surprised at the time that um, HSBC weren't mentioned in any of the OCCRP's reports um, because I I just happened to know that HSBC are involved in, in laundering Russian money. So I sent a tweet to one of their staff um, and he replied that yes uh, they are they said HSBC are heavily involved in these in this in, in this um, crimes and that we should be talking about them. But they didn't they proceeded not to talk about them. One reason for that might be that the OCCRP is um, partly funded by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in the UK. So I knew that HSBC were laundering money. We now know they were laundering money during the period of their DPA. They should have failed their DPA and they should be under prosecution and potentially losing their licence. So Lisa Sofsky did very well out of monitoring HSBC's DPA. Her firm Exeger were paid two hundred million pounds a year, uh, dollars. I beg your pardon, two hundred million dollars a year by HSBC. Um, but Lisa Rosowski is married to a lawyer called Mark Wasserman, um, and Mark Wasserman is a partner in a U.S. law firm called Sidley Austin. And funnily enough, they received all the legal work connected with the monitoring of HSBC, even though the firm itself acted for HSBC already in a number of other matters, including the purchase by HSBC of HFC Bank in 2003, which incidentally was the precipitated the worldwide crash in 2007. 
So here's this conflicted firm doing the legal work for Lisa Osofsky's um, monitorship. Her husband, uh, Lisa and Mark, live in, in a flat in Kensington worth £3.3 .3 million. Pounds. And on the face of the records, it looks as though they took out an HSBC mortgage in October 2017. In December 2017, HSBC was released from their DPA, implying that they had behaved themselves during those five years, complied with all the requirements of the Department of Justice, and that they were free to carry on. In fact, in reality, they entered into a brand new DPA in January 2018, the following month, um, for a fraud conviction offence. Um, so here we have the, uh, the monitor with it. With a, now, the, I should mention that the mortgage is disputed. I did a Freedom of Information Act request to the um, Serious Fraud Office because the, the point of this whole story is Lisa Sosky is now the Director General of the Serious Fraud Office in Great Britain, a job she started in 2018. Uh, now, I wrote to the SFO about her mortgage, and they wrote back to me and said, Although it appears that she took out a mortgage in October 2017, in fact her mortgage dates from 2007 and that there was a new registration of a long lease in October, in October 2017. But it's very confusing and it would be good to have a, 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 a lawyer uh, um, expert in property law to have a look on my website. It's under Lisa Rosowski's mortgage because there's missing title numbers, there's changed the bank the bank, the name of the bank has changed, but more significantly, the uh, SFO told me that there was no conflict for Lisa Rosowski because uh, it did not conflict with any current SFO investigations, which implies that there won't ever be a, an HSBC investigation at the SFO, which is most likely. In fact, she has halted various um, investigations, such as Rolls Royce. Um, which have led to HSBC. HSBC were, were heavily involved in the Rolls-Royce bribery scandals. So she's very conflicted. Um, and there was one more aspect to just before she was, I mean, it was generally known that she was going to be appointed to the SFO, but her, the announcement of her appointment took, took quite a while. And it was reported in the Times that there was a lot of frustration as to why it was taking such a long time. Um, and I suspect it may be because in 2016, another partner in Mark Wasserman's law firm, Sidley Austin, called Matthew Carhill, uh, was arrested for tax fraud uh, in connection with a, a famous, I mean, the, 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 a common film production tax fraud, which was founded and sponsored by HSBC, called Zeus Partners. But strangely, in February 2018, all charges against him were dropped, and the CPS um, made an announcement they hadn't, they didn't understand why HSBC were not investigated as well as Matthew Carhill. So all charges against him were dropped. So there would be no embarrassment for HSBC or Sidley Austin partner or Lisa Rosowski. Um She was duly appointed to the SFO, and she started in in August 2018. So that's Lisa Rosowski, heavily conflicted. Um, if any investigation against HSBC does come to the SFO, I would seriously hope she will recuse herself, but the most likely outcome will be it will be closed down. That's my first video blog.